Women's Ambassadors for the Foundation and for the Entrepreneurship Program. I, for one, am extremely proud and I'm excited to see and read about their future successes. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Tony Elumelu Foundation Entrepreneurship Program Class of 2021. And that was how the Tony Lumelu Entrepreneurship Program for 2021 was launched live online. Right? So, here is that mammoth list. That mammoth list of 5,000 entrepreneurs. So, today I want to welcome you to my channel. Today we'll discuss about the Tony Lumelu 2021 winners announced the key numbers and powerful lessons um, to learn against TEF 2022. My name is Anoha Gabriel. Welcome to my channel where I give insights that help African entrepreneurs start and grow and thrive. All right. So we, here in this channel, we we'll talk about tips and hacks for starting and growing your small business the right way. We talk about how to grow your revenue exponentially we talk about strategies for generating consistent stream of customers we discuss business development skills for the 21st century entrepreneur and we also talk about business funding ideas and insights update on opportunities for african entrepreneurs just like this one so um before we continue i'll quickly request that you hit the subscribe button put on the notification bell so you'll be the first to know each time i post a video so let's go back to those slides and find out what exactly um, happened this year's announcement so last friday and um, the 12th of november the 20 Lumili foundation announced almost 5,000 african smes from all 55, 54 countries in africa um, as its 2021 entrepreneurship you know, beneficiaries. 4,949 entrepreneurs were selected across all the countries in Africa, right? And this is a key achievement for the Tony Illuminu Foundation. And we also note that these were selected from a pool of 400,000 applications. So 400 applications, 400,000 applications were received and between January and March 31st, 2021, when the application window was open. So, and these were selections were according to the TEF um, um, notice, or will I call it press release, were based, this, the selections were based on innovation, performance, growth potential to create jobs, growth and growth potential to create jobs and eradicate poverty in the continent, which is one of the major objectives of the Tony Lumelu Foundation. Okay, so let's get a little more insight into um, what happened in insight. So um, this press release reads, can you see here, I'm extremely glad that our partnership is moving into, and this is one of the partners of the Tony Lumelu Foundation, I think this is a European Commission person saying that the partnership is moving into this active stage and I'm very glad that over 2,400 women will benefit from the Tony Lumi Foundation training program and will get seed capital to support their business courtesy of the European Union or the European Commission, which is the direct organization involved. And they were able to be part of this. So of all um, of all the numbers, and this is why the number of females, of course, we're going to discuss it in this video as well, spiked up to all, almost 70 or 70%, um, I think so, uh, of the whole application. So nearly 70% of applications of winners were female entrepreneurs. I mean, amazing, amazing. So let's get to the numbers and see how this all span out. And we already know, like I already told you, from all 54 countries, winners were selected. Um, some countries had thousands of winners, some had just one, but the Tony Entrepreneurship Program made sure that 
every country in Africa had at least one beneficiary from this year's um, program. So, in West Africa, which is the has the largest number of winners, 2,830. East Africa, 1,204. Central Africa, 662. South Africa, Southern Africa, 224. And um, 29 from North Africa. So these are uh, just this. I want you to know that um, there is also funding from UNDP. That is what caused this number to go up for West Africa, especially despite the fact that um, West Africa holds the largest country, of course, the most populated country in Africa, which is Nigeria, um, which is, I mean, very highly entrepreneurial. That's my country. I'm very proud of them. But of course, in, uh, there is also the problem in the Sahel Sudan, which is the UNDP specifically is funding. Um, I don't know, but they promised 2,500, but I don't think from my calculation that they gave up to 2,500 um, people. But a significant number of these winners are from um, the UNDP Sahel Savannah uh, project, that partnership that they are um, they're doing with the Tony Lumelu Foundation. So if you go down the, the list, you will be able to see specific numbers for specific countries. You can see some countries are one, some are up to 1,000 and the rest of them. So I believe Nigeria is the only country with a number above a thousand. And that is really, really amazing. And it can, it's, it's, it's obvious because in more applications, of course, so, some applications came more from Nigeria than any other country in the world. Now look at that number on gender distribution. You see that for the first time in the Tony Limelu Foundation program, women um, uh, women got more seed capital than men. So there were more female winners than male. Of course, courtesy of the European Commission who gave out 2,000. So of all, of almost half that number came from, um, and, and half the winners came from the European Commission who gave exclusive offer for female entrepreneurs. So you can understand that number. And then uh, even the other part of the funding, females also took part and the rest of them. So you can understand why this number is so high for female entrepreneurs than for me. And then another amazing number we'll have to look at is um, the stages of the business. The Tony Limino Foundation says it funds businesses that are from zero to three years. And this is very, very obvious when we look at the business trade distribution for these winners. And you see that um, more than 70% came from idea stage. So you see 3,684 are ideas. And infancy stage, that are businesses that have just started, that have just started infants. So you see that they, are, they, are, they have the second largest percentage or number with 24%. While business in the growth stage are just uh, a little over 1%. And that is tremendous, is encouraging for um, African businesses or entrepreneurs who are in the idea stage. Top 10 sectors, we have agriculture, of course, which is, I mean, the main thing about Af Af Africa. You talk about food and beverages, which is also related to agriculture. And then you look at beauty and fashion and all these other things. So in all, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 sectors that were covered in the funding for Tony Lumelu Foundation in this year's 2021 grant. <clears throat> so you can go ahead and then look at the numbers by country and all that. You see that every country is represented. And, and, and now let's look at the impact. The impact this has made over the last three years, I mean, last six years, the Tony Lumelu Foundation Entrepreneurship Program was launched in 2015. And over that period, we see that more than 15,000 have benefited. Tony Lumel himself made this post um, a few days back, just after the announcement, and he said that um, he, he made a mention of um, the partners who are doing this, and he said it's all about impact. It's all about impact. So they made, he made a commitment in 2015 to commit $100 million to fund 10,000 African entrepreneurs over 10 years. And this is just the sixth year and more than 15,000 entrepreneurs 
have already uh, um, been funded. So he has overcome that target and has even added over 5,000 through partnership. And you can see the list of people that have that have partnered with this gov with this um, initiative. You have um, the European Commission, UNDP, Google, and all that and all that. So, and then you look at what how much they have been given according to the ceo if anyone of the tony Lumelu foundation today we have trained 10 times more young african entrepreneurs that we have um from 2015 to 2019 so um we all know that there was no training there was no program for tony Lumelu foundation in 2020 because of covid 19. so between 2015 and 2019 miss um mrs if anyone is telling us that the Tony Lumilu Foundation have trained more entrepreneurs in this year, 2021 alone, than it has done in the last four years, in the first four years of this program, 2015 to 2019. And that is really, really, really awesome. And in all this year, the Tony Lumilu Foundation is issuing or giving to entrepreneurs 24,750,000 US dollars directly to the hands of African entrepreneurs. And this is really, really massive. I can't see anything that is more impactful than this that I've, I've not seen anything that is more impactful than this. I've not seen any funding that has focused so much on African businesses, especially African ideas, small ideas, young entrepreneurs ideas than this. And this is why I'm so excited about what Tony Lumley Foundation is doing. And it says here that since its inception, the Philly Limits Fund has now funded 15,847 entrepreneurs who have created more than 400,000 direct and indirect jobs and still counting. Of course, counting when you have 5,000, almost 5,000 entrepreneurs, you are definitely going to have more impact in the coming years. And then you can see here that there are also a preparation already in place for next year 2022 so if you are interested in applying for 2022 this is the time to get ready and get started i was going to tell us give us six lessons that we can learn from this and how we can improve our application for the next year but time is out on me and i'm going to come back and make another short video where i will share with you six lessons that we can learn from this don't forget to subscribe to this channel click on the notification bell and get all the answers and then get all the information and get update from me any other time thank you for watching this video i hope if you liked it if you enjoyed it like it and share it so that other entrepreneurs like you can get to you know watch the same right so thank you for watching